Hello everyone, welcome back to my art nook. Merry Christmas to you all. Today we'll look at rock painting. Here you can see two rocks that I've painted in the past. Today I'm going to do something simpler, not uh, something this complex. Now, the things that you need for that is obviously a rock. Um, you can pick up a rock from your garden, from your backyard, beach, or a lot, a lot of craft stores also uh, sell rocks these days. So you can buy one from there as well. If you notice, I've already painted white uh, as a base coat. That helps enhance the colors. Um, now you can paint the front and the back. I only painted the front for today. A piece of paper or anything to protect your workspace um, so that your floor or your furniture doesn't get damaged. A pencil to draw your design. Um, you will need paint pens. Look for anything that says acrylic paint pens uh, or anything that says that you can draw on glass or any surface. You would also need an outdoor sealer. In this case, I'm using varnish. Um, once I'm done with my work, I'll seal it outside. Um, now let's go ahead and start working on our stone. If you see, I have divided the stone into two quadrants. On one side, um, on one side I'm going to draw a design and then paint. On the other side, I'm going to do dot painting. It's going to be more organic. Let's begin. Now I'll. I've already. Uh, I already drew my design, and uh, I am filling it up with my paint pens right now. You can choose to work with paint pens or liquid paints uh, based on your comfort. Uh, for kids, paint pens are definitely a better option because uh, um, you know they have more control as to what they are doing. I painted a red heart filled in golden around it and currently I'm painting uh, with purple pen. I'm choosing my colors as I go and I really like working with bright colors. Using green right now. Now you can use any colors that you like. Um, I really like working with bright shades. I feel they really bring the stones to life. Once you're done coloring, I use the Sharpie to draw your outlines just to enhance the colors a little more and to ensure that each shape is uh, clearly visible. And I like working with Sharpie because um, you get really nice and neat looking outline, not too thick, just enough to you know, show you where one color ends and another color starts. Now that, that we are done with outlining our colors, let's go ahead and add some details. Um, I am just going to randomly draw some details inside these colors. I feel uh, it adds a little more character to the stone. They can be random lines, random designs uh, and you know you can as you see I am color drawing each color differently so you can add your own mark there
and we are done with one side of our stone now let's go ahead and work on the second half I am going to use metallic uh, paints for this one and as I said this is going to be totally organic so at this point even I don't know what I'm going to make but let's start with putting some dots on there as long as you make sure that um, your dots are symmetric uh, I think it'll look beautiful no matter what let's see how it turns out I have my fingers crossed and I suggest all of you to you know whether you think that you are an artist or not just start doing because our you know brain also develop keeps developing as we start doing things and so even if you think that you're not very art artistic I bet once you start you know creating something you'll soon realize that you're more artistic than you you thought you are another color now I'm going to start at a new spot and you know start making another design so it's not going to be one whole big design it's going to be um, smaller designs randomly placed around this half of the stone I'm curious to see how this turns out at this point even I have no idea what my next design is going to be there we are done with our stone um, I hope you all like um, like this and um, if you also paint rocks uh, feel free to share the pictures with me either in the comments or I'll put my Facebook uh, page link to my Facebook page in the comments um, you know feel free to send give you know send me a message let me know if you like it even if you don't like it what is it that you don't like I'll try to work on your feedback and you know do better in future uh, please feel free to like and subscribe to my video share it with anybody uh, else who might enjoy um, stone painting and looking forward uh, for your feedback and now another quick look at the stone that I painted today um, all right and um, I'll see you next year happy new year take care